Hey there, it's your pal C. Jacobs, and welcome to Ashen. Ashen is a combat RPG, the debut entry by developer A44, uh, their first major entry into the world of video games, and one of the major launch titles of the Epic Games Store platform. A platform which currently doesn't have controller support, so I'm playing it on Steam instead. But either way, Ashen, combat RPG, uh, slow, one of them slow-paced upgrade exploration, talk to NPCs about mysterious stuff you don't understand style games, and I'm going to be playing it blind for you. This is my first time even launching the video game, and... This seems like- this doesn't seem like a great idea. I don't do blind let's plays very much, or really at all, but I feel like this will be a good opportunity to experience this game together for better or worse. I'm gonna do a little bit of editing here and there in case I die, which is to be expected in a game like this, or get stuck and can't figure out where to go, you know, the usual. Uh, but I think it's going to be a more laid-back experience you know, take in the tone and atmosphere and the beautiful, beautiful art style of this game. And I hope you look forward to it. I know I do. Let's get into it. Among the stars, the ashen fly. Beneath, the nine realms move among the tree of worlds' many branches. Proudly standing upon the darkness, its roots delving into caverns where light will never venture. It was when a single great ashen flew down to rest upon her bows, that the light woke among the realms. After eons, the great ashen grew weak with age and fell from the Tree of Worlds, resting upon the plains of darkness, drawing what few breaths remained. In the throes of death, the light dimmed, and the Ashen's final three breaths became the three golden ages of light. The first age saw three creatures of the Dark Plains rise above all others. The Elder Dark fed upon the light and thrived. The second marked the coming of the Listener Matriarchs, Titans who revered the light. The third breath was the Age of Man, Geffen's children. When the final breath ended, there would be a time of darkness. In that Black Age, the cities of man fell into ruin toppled by war and emptied by pestilence and famine. Proud Lathyrus drowned beneath the ash. From dust to flesh, from darkness to radiance, soon the ashen will be reborn from the ruins of its old body 
and a new age of light will begin. I served the Ashen long ago, a guardian to its waning light, even though it broke me with its brilliance. Now, look to the mountain peak, for that is where fresh hope blooms. The Ashen is reborn. Behold the first glimmer of the light that will sweep the darkness from these plains. Oh my. I'm thrown right into it. Well, welcome to the first glimmers of the Age of Light, everybody. Got anything more to say? The cliffs ahead should provide a good vantage point. Beware, the rebirth of the Ashen will be violent. Okay. I'll be sure to keep a lookout. Smooth controls so far. Oh yeah! Oh my. I'll explain in a, in a minute about my friend here. Well. Hello. Them shadows. They's always watching. Right. Well, hopefully the shadows will be gone once once the whole light thing comes back. Big fan of light. Breaking through the dark. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at all those fancy pants particles. What have we here? An axe of bone. Primitive yet brutal. Uh, okay, I'll take it. Might be useful later. Uh-oh. Guy wants to beat me up. Oh. Good work, friend. I like your pipe. It's a very fancy gentleman. A shield! Hey, well that's pretty useful in games like this. I'll take that, that's for sure. Jump the gap. Oh, this is this is one of them ones that's got fancy pants platforming. Up, up. Well, that didn't work out so well. What have we here? Increases your stamina regen speed. Sure, I'll take it. What are you? I feel like I should be wary about smacking everything that I come across. That's, that's probably something to be careful of. It seems like... It seems like I, I wouldn't want to make any enemies. Let's follow this little thing. Hi there. It's over here. Healing. That's nice. I'll take that. Thank you. Well, all right. I guess I was unable to make that jump. But still, platforming feels pretty good. I assume that it's probably a little bit too difficult for a first-timer to make that kind of a jump on their own. It was over here anyway. Man, this game is pretty. I do like this game's art style. The, the, the simplistic lower uh, color scheme hand-painted aesthetic is something I've always been very fond of. And I, I think this game has channeled that well pretty, uh... Ooh, pretty well, is what I meant to say there. Where'd my buddy go? Is he around here? Uh, I don't know. Oh well. Oh yeah, what I was gonna say. Uh, you've got an AI buddy in this game, uh, who follows you around. Uh, that's one of the few things I actually know about it. And, and that that AI buddy can seamlessly be taken over, uh, by online players and turned into a co-op partner. Which I'm going to turn off, because I'm, I'm just gonna be playing by myself, but... It's cool that they have that kind of drop-in, drop-out kind of thing going on. Hi there. Keep your mitts off me, Rock. 
Okay. I will not touch your rock. Ash suckers, nothing but trouble. Feel like that's a little bit derogatory of you to say. One and two is them be the lies. I I don't think these people are really gonna care about the next coming of light. They don't seem all that sane. Good taste in food though. Look at those look at all those delicious fish. Alright, let's get a move on. Hi there. Oh there he is, it's my buddy. That's who that was. There are those that thrive in perpetual night and would extinguish these fledgling rays. We must find the Ashen and protect it from the Elder Dark. Defeat the forces of darkness? I could do that. Sort of. Get on up. My my faceless mannequin friend. How you doing, pal? It looks like the Age of Light has, in fact, begun. Time to go defeat the forces of darkness, which I'm sure is going to be just that easy. Just that easy. What a sight. Our world once more bathed in ashen light. You have felt the power of the Ashen and survived. We will need that strength of yours. The Ashen is still a sleeping child. Vulnerable. We must wake it from its slumber. Before we begin our journey, we must bind your spirit to a ritual stone. If misadventure takes you, the stone will act as a beacon from beyond death's veil. You can call it a bonfire, it's fine. Familiar terminology. There's a ritual stone nearby, in the district called Vagrant's Rest. But I will need my hammer and spark to awaken it. You must find them. I can do that. Sure. Oh! There's quests! Okay, cool. Well, there's like a little mini-map too. I fell and hit my head. When I awoke, my hammer and spark were gone. They are somewhere in Vagrant's Rest. That's all I know. Well, I'll go look in there. After I follow my buddy, whose name apparently is Yokel. I like these little rabbit things. They're kind of cute. Old B to sprint. You got it. Well, let's, let's explore a little bit first. That's actually a pretty fast sprint. That's not bad. It's not too much faster than just walking, but it's pretty good, although your stamina does drain pretty fast. I assume I can just hit the button to roll. Yeah, I can. Oh, that roll's pretty slow, though. Stamina regen is pretty quick, though. Equip my shield. Okay. Equip a consumable. Ah, I, I wanna... Okay, interesting. So there are multiple different kinds of consumables. So if I take this out... Okay, so I've got two slots for consumable items, and then these are different types of consumables. So I can put my healing item here, and my stamina item here. And I guess I can also equip this in my other hand. Yeah, I can! An axe of bone, primitive yet brutal. Finesse matters little when fighting for your survival. You improvise or you die. That is the way of our world. Coal. Well, that is pretty cool. So, shield. 
That's not much of a shield. <laughs> Okay, I like it. Okay, well that's not... That doesn't seem too different than what I'm used to when it comes to games like this. And oh yeah, I can just jump at any time. I gotta remember that. I gotta remember that you can climb stuff in this game. I imagine there's probably nothing like equipment load or anything like that, but I didn't take a look at my stats. I'll have to do that next time I get the chance. So, we got ourselves a little map here. Go with Yokel to find Batarin's hammer and spark. You got it. Let's go, buddy. Batarin's hammer and spark. Right. Most likely the vagrants have them. They're thieves and scavengers. They'll steal anything that's not chained down. Well then, let's go. I like this guy already. He's got a sense of adventure. Uh-oh. Let's do this. Oh, that's... Oh. It's snappy. Not only is it snappy, but you also get like a little quick step when you're locked on, but it's a, a roll when you're not. Interesting. Alright, well let's just go along the critical path right now. We'll, we'll do our exploring once I've got the ropes a little bit better. Ah, I figured. I figured you could break stuff. Hey pal, come here. I got something for you. Oh, these, these guys are, are very deceptive. So let's see, how do I heal? Oh, okay. Well, that's, again, very familiar. Very standard controls in this, not that I mind. I wonder if there's any point to breaking pots and stuff. I'll do it, just for fun. Just to, just to make physics objects fly everywhere. You know, the heavy attacks don't actually seem to be all that much more powerful. The Maybe it's just this weapon, but the heavy attacks seem to be doing about as much damage as the not heavy attack. <laughs> nice that I can walk while using items, too. Oh, and it's, it's also nice that the game, like, the game doesn't remove items from your hotbar. Like, just because you're out. Oh. Well, there's really not much I can... There's really not much I can do about that right now. <laughs> maybe let's... Maybe let's find a way around. Oh, boy. Oh! That's a big guy. Oh, Yokel's going up there to take care of the range lady. That's nice. I'll just take care of this myself, I suppose. Gotta watch my stamina. I don't I don't got very much. Oh, someone's helping me out. Oh there no wait, he found his way around. Hey look. Wow, he, he's actually pretty competent. I'm I'm surprised. He I don't know what I expected, but it's it's not for him to be actually helping me in combat. I thought he was mostly like an exploration buddy, but no, he's he's holding his own pretty well, actually. Hey you, I got something for you. I like it. The combat's the combat is punchy. It's it's an appropriate it's it's got an appropriate amount of weight, especially for the type of art style this game has. Wonder if I can Aha! Oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta do some platforming here. I, I gotta, I gotta learn my, I gotta learn the ropes when it comes to the platform. So can I grab ledges? I can, yes! So what is this thing? I don't know, I guess I'll find out later. Oh, oh, this is bad, because now I'm going to be trying to jump everywhere. <laughs> it's pretty responsive, though. I, I really do like the controls for this game so far. They, they are... They are quite responsive in a good way. I'm starting to get a hang of it now. Now, now I'm kinda... Kinda getting a handle. 
wonder if there's like jumping attacks. It doesn't seem to be, but but maybe that's just maybe that's just attacks like maybe that's just because I didn't do a big enough jump. Like I need to be off of a off of a drop or something. Either way, we got the hammer. Let's see if I can look at it. I can. An ash smith's hammer forged when the listeners held this world in the palms of their great hands. Ataran may well be the last master Ash Smith in existence. Well, we'd better get this back to him then. That that seems like a pretty good plan. But here, let's let's explore around a little bit first. Not sure just how much there is to see up here in this area. Specifically because this is like the tutorial type area. I saw a prompt there. Uh-oh. Oh, careful. <laughs> I couldn't move. Let's let's maybe not try to sneaky sneak. That's <laughs> let's try to stick to the stick to the intended path. What have we here? Oh, an upgrade. Black ashen feather acquired. Is this an artifact I can look at? Doesn't look like it. I guess it's just a collectible. Well, cool. So, okay, yeah. So there are, like, benefits to just exploring around. Nice. Well, I'll have to make sure to do that, you know, whenever I get the chance. It's like I said, editing on this will probably be pretty slim, but I'll, I'll do some stuff to cut out any unnecessary fat and all that. I've seen some negativity about this game, unfortunately. I, I've seen some people saying that this game isn't, like, complex enough for their tastes. But I don't think it necessarily needs to be. So far, it seems like it has a pretty good amount of complexity without being, you know, without being too simple. But I don't even mind simplicity. I, I feel like this- I feel like this world of gaming we lives in now, that we live in now, Needs games that aren't too necessarily complex. But let's let's not go too far here. D despite my ability to. Uh, let's let's maybe head back. You know, I'm I'm sure that the world is quite open in its current state, but we'll we'll just explore along this cliff and then head back. See what our see what our buddy has to say to us. There doesn't seem to be a parry in this game. There, there is like a, a little shield bash I can do. Oh, but it doesn't, it doesn't actually seem... It doesn't seem like there's a way to parry enemies by the normal definition. I wonder if I can block these. I guess now's not a real good time to try and find out. <laughs> It looks like blocking just takes away stamina. Yeah, bl blocking doesn't actually take away health that I'm aware of, which is neat. I don't mind that. That's that's a that's a system that I'm I'm glad for actually. Small scoria stash, a small sack containing and containing ancient Lathirian riches. Okay, I'm guessing that's a consumable that'll give me the little soul items that are up there in the corner. Up there in the top left is my my health, my stamina, uh, I assume my gear of some kind, and and then my uh, my little soul bits. You gotta be careful there, Yokel. I almost took a swing at you. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like he has health or anything. He he doesn't seem to be able to get hurt at all, which is well well. I mean, he does have health up there, but if he falls over, I bet I'll be able to just revive him. Because having him be able to, like, permanently die would be strange. But then again, I guess I don't know. I guess I'll be finding that out along with you. Broken Iron Club. Oh, there's a gentleman here. <laughs> I'll look at that in a second. Two-handed weapon. Oh, I see. You've got a one-handed slot and then a two-handed slot. Designed by Lathurian met metallurgists to crack open armored listeners and hard-shelled corbs. Some enemies just need to be cracked like a nut. Yokel said that. All right, Yokel. I approve of your I, I approve of your bloodthirst. 
Oh, that's chunky. That's real chunky. I like it. Hitting hitting the block button with this does nothing. I I assume that's the trade-off. Yeah, you can you don't get to use a shield with the two-handed weapon. Interesting. Well, all right, let's head back. Hell of an adventure we've been on today. Although this doesn't this doesn't look like the same way I took to get here, does it? Yeah, it's slightly more slightly more opposition now. Oh. This is not a good time to try out this weapon. I'll try it out when there's a little bit a little bit fewer people to fight. Oh, watch it, Yokel. Okay. It's pretty good. We'll we'll try it out mono a mono soon though. Oh yeah, he can heal. I just heard him crunch on something. I don't actually know where I'm going. Let me take a look at the map. Oh, it's just right over here. Yeah, that, that, that seems good for stumbling, but it doesn't seem like it does appreciably more damage right now. I'll have to, I'll have to upgrade my items and stuff at some point. I'm sure. Wait a minute. Oh no, they didn't kill him, did they? Oh no, oh no, we have to find the spark next, right? I was like, wait, uh-oh. <laughs> the spark has been found. All right. This ornate steel fire starter is made in the ancient listener style. The etched runes tell of the ashen's fall to the darkened plains. So much of what we knew is now buried in the ash. Well, we'll dig it out. It's fine. Even if I have to use my... Even if I have to use my club. Okay. So, ritual stone. Oh. Oh, I didn't even look up. I haven't even looked up yet. Whoa. Holy cow. Pretty big spire you got there. So, this way. Let's take a look at the map. It's nice to have a map, actually. I, you know, it's funny. Games like this, I feel like, would benefit from having a map more often. I, I think this game will benefit quite highly from having one. Because I've heard that this game is quite a bit more open than games like in this style generally are. I'm really looking forward to the exploration aspect. Oh, hey, look, he's already here. Cleared out some bandits for you, my, my tall, tall friend. How's it going? Give me my hammer. So I might awaken this sleeping stone. No problem. Touch the spark to the ritual stone. Bind your spirit to this place. Can do. I am a big fan of binding my spirit. There's like a, this is gonna become like a little hub. I guess I didn't think about that. Well, hey, that's kind of cool. We got like a little, we, we're gonna turn this into like a little town. That's pretty neat. Oh yeah, look at that. We got, we got a marker on our map for it and everything. Cool. Well, let's, let's see what this does. Nothing right now, actually. I can't even, like, level up my guy or anything like that. Well, my lady. I didn't get to give her a name. I'll let you all give her a name. Because right now she doesn't have a name. Or a face. <laughs> she She's kind of missing... It's, it's like... It's like not even that she doesn't have facial features. It's that the part of the face where facial features usually are is just, like, chopped off of her head. It, it really does make her look like a posing mannequin, actually, including, like, the little mitten hands. Interesting. Alright, buddy, what you got for me? 
I have searched these foothills and found no sign of the Ashen. We must consult Geffen of the Birthing Waters. She will know where to look. Geffen, you got it. Geffen can be found bathing within the Annex of Light. Bridge the waters and strike out for the cliffs. There lies your way in. Sure thing. Annex of Light it is. Looks like Yoko's got something for me. What's up, buddy? Do you dream? In my sleep, I hear my brother's voice. He once traveled this way with my father. I wasn't with them. Ahu was eldest, so it was his duty alone. Now he echoes through my slumber, calling to me. Strange. Each time is the same. He stands atop an old listener ruin, calling to me. I have found the ruin by the lakeside. Will you help me climb it? Yep, sure, man. We're gonna be hanging out together. Might as well become closer friends. Let's do it. My father and brother never returned from their journey. I wandered for a long time looking for them. Well, I'll help you out. Let's go.